episode of the Life Coach Show, where we create the standard. The goal of this program is to be able to educate individuals such as you and I to be able to make quality decisions to achieve the type of life that we want. We believe the family make up the basic unit of society. And once individuals and the family are good, our society will achieve greater things and will be peaceful for us all. For a while now, I've been spending quality time with my nephew and nieces and it's been one thing or the other, but all in all, it's been great. And recently, you know, usually they call me Auntie Titi. And recently, one of my nieces, Nimaya, was like, oh, mommy, how are you? And I was like, okay, hold on. Who is a mom? If you want to find out more, stay tuned for this episode. As a mother some people say mom mommy mama etc who is a mother so I decided to do a bit of a research a mother is a woman who gives birth it could be biologically they could have adopted kids they could be surrogacy a mother can be a grandparent, a nanny, an auntie, or a father, yes. Because some men play a motherly role. And so I asked myself, so if a mother is all these, then we have a lot of mothers in our world and in our society. Mother could also mean that champion woman out there advocating for the rights of orphans. They are always looking out for other people, the aged. And so, then mother means the woman that is caring, understanding, looks out for other people. A mother is that woman that supports her family, their nature. They socialize the young ones in their family to grow up with good and great and awesome virtues. I think that is why it is not so surprising that usually the moment a child gets sick, the first thing that people will say is, Oh, have you contacted the mother? Where is the mother? Well, so I was like, okay, if these are the things that actually sort of define who a mother is, then indeed I am. But motherhood is not easy. Motherhood takes patience. It takes sacrifice. Why am I saying this? During this, again, exciting exposure with my nephew and nieces, I mean, I've spent a lot of time with Niraya, and she doesn't mind. Trust me, guys. Even when I'm in the washroom, doing the number two. This toddler will come there with her bottle. And no matter how many times I suck her, she will stay there and wait till I finish before she goes with me. Sometimes when they are showering, she'll just come in, swipe the shower curtain. And I'll be like, what? And this tells me how mothers hardly have time for themselves. I mean, from waking up at dawn, till the sun sets, it's always back to back to back to back to back. And so that is why you find a lot of adjectives describing mother as caring, being the person that everybody goes to, being the person that self-sacrifices. But sometimes we do forget that before a mother, there is a woman, yes. There is a woman who also needs time for herself. There is a woman who also has aspirations and ambition. There is a woman who is a human being who also sometimes suffers burnout. And sometimes when support systems are not there, it can lead to depression, 
hypertension. Yes. And so maybe it's about time we started looking at motherhood and looking at how we characterize a woman. Because if I cast my mind back growing up, mm, of course, as much as I'm a great woman, uh, I know I was naughty sometimes. And there were times my mommy got angry. She would insult me. She would beat me. She would give me the knock. Did that make her a bad mother? No. That made her a woman, a human being, somebody with feelings because I was getting on the nerves. There were times, or even now, times that I sometimes like, oh no, I want to have my me time. Yo, kids, move. Auntie Titi is off radar. She's off the clock. And then my sister and the family members will be teasing me. And I'm sure mothers, and me, this is me and Auntie, you, trying to get a me time. So can you imagine mothers? So maybe it's about time we re looked at the definition. The fact that a mother gets angry does not mean she's bad. The fact that a mother wants a me time is an opportunity for her to rejuvenate. And remember, motherhood could also refer to that man out there playing the role of a mother. That is nurturing, supporting, because as we all agree, it does not necessarily mean that it's only when you, you biologically give birth that can be defined as a mother. I am a mother. Yes, I have adopted kids. I have people that come to me for advice, support, that call me mother. I play so many roles. And so, it's been championing activities in society. So yes, so are other people out there, but how are we supporting them? What support systems are we given? Now, take this scenario. The woman who is a mother and is married has to take care of the kids, the husband, and herself. If the husband is not supportive, she will suffer burnout. The single mother out there, the single father out there playing that dual role, likewise. How is society supporting them? I feel like it's about time we gave mothers a slack. And when I say mothers, it's referring to both, okay? I think it's about time we cut them some slack because it is not easy. It is not. And so the fact that you see a woman sometimes shouting on their child because the child is being adamant and being stubborn. You should not stand somewhere and just quickly take your phone and start snapping and videoing and saying that she's being abusive. No. Sometimes the kids can really get on the nerves and I'm sure parents can agree. And so I believe that during this Mother's Day celebration, we should really reflect on motherhood and in line with that, appreciate the mothers in our lives. As I've said, I am very fortunate for my mother, Mrs. Grace Kumi, her maiden name Grace Annaling. Thank you so much, Mother Medasi, because your support, your guidance has made me who I am. But that does not mean she's the only one who nurtured me because nature socialization is done not just by the family but the society and so i have mothers that have supported me in academia in my school work mothers that have supported me in my work of life or life of work mothers that have supported me socially be like hey mommy need to say i'll be like i'm good Ah, today you're looking good. I like the way you've dressed. Oh, this is how you talk to people. When you're communicating, you need to have eye contact. You need to listen. You need to have an encouraging smile that is welcoming for people to feel at peace with you. All these women have shaped me. And I'm sure in my own small corner, I'm also helping to shape other people around the world, virtually and physically. And so as we celebrate Mother's Day, rest in peace to those who have lost their mothers. May their soul rest in peace. I pray 
that as we celebrate Mother's Day, you take a step back. Look at all the mothers that you've had in your life. A text message, a phone call could do. Times are tough. Sometimes it's not about the gift, but just the thought and being appreciative and saying thank you goes a long way to encourage a mother somewhere to continue to be the awesome woman that she is. I hope this episode has been great for you. Kudos to everybody that has shared my life once again. And so we come your way again with another episode. This is the Mother's Day episode to bring you a good reflection of who a mother is in your life. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And so we come your way again with another episode. Okay, my producer just prompted me. Guys, I have not forgotten about the consumer education episode I promised you. It will surely come. Stay tuned on this great channel, The Life Coach Show. We love you.